Wow. A copper 1921 Silver Ghost Rolls Royce. Are you ready to see more? Hi, I'm Christina. And I'm Randy. Are you ready for an adventure? Come see our journey. <laughs> We're at the National Automotive Museum, Reno, Nevada. Right downtown Reno. Where? We got wildlife in the city. <laughs> oh, I just saw the uh, I think that's that's a Truckee River, right? I think so. Yeah. The National Automotive Museum. Where the cars are the stars. Hot rods and cool customs. They gave us a map and told us exactly where to start and the paths to take to follow to see the entire museum. And boy, what a museum. Then there was a 1931 Ford High Boy. Christina worked for Turbinetics in the past, so we got a good laugh out of the next thing that we saw. A Turbinetics turbocharger in a museum. <laughs> we both enjoy cars, and while we were on this trip, we had just talked about Big Daddy Roth. I had mentioned a place that used to be next to uh, Knott's Berry Farm and it was called uh, Hollywood Cars of the Stars. Now there's a steering wheel that's like driving with a joystick but this one was made before joysticks were made. I had wondered where the Cars of the Stars cars went to and I'll be darned if here's one that the Automobile Museum bought. It's Ed Big Daddy Roths, the Beatnik Bandit. Later on in this video you'll see some more cars that will reference Ed Big Daddy Roth. He was famous for the Rat Fink and uh, made a lot of models. Those crazy plastic models back in the days were real cars. Button at the back of the head, so when the hat was placed over, then the hat pit could be threaded through the top of the hat and continue to push through to the bun to securely attach the hat to the woman's head. That's it's a, crazy. It's a collection of head pins. Yeah, but they take the hat, they put it on their head, their bun was here, they take one of these hat pins and drive it through the hat to the other side to keep the hat on the head. <laughs> These are all from the 1900s, these cars. And uh, there's over 200 cars in this collection. Wow. This is, was used in the movie Titanic in 1997 in the dock scenes at the departure. It's a 1912 it's Rambler and the original price was $1,650. And it's in perfect shape. And not a speck of dust. Look at the wheels. The wheels have letters. It's a Cadillac motor car. 1913 Roadster. Yeah, there's a Cadillac. <laughs> when Cadillac was made in America. <laughs> I was noticing the Nazi symbol on the front of this one, so we're going to find out what this is all about. They call it a crypt. 1913 crypt. It's a five passenger touring car. It's a white swastika with a blue border of the Greek and it in American Indian style, which symbolizes good luck. The infamous Nazi version was red with a white border. That's why it's different. Oh. That's what you need to say. You just said it? Oh. <laughs> why do I have to say it? <laughs> oh, 
very interesting car because even with that swastika on the front of there it was made in Detroit Michigan shag carpet 1910 1910 Rolls Royce crank crank start well, the silver ghost tour a silver ghost. Derby, England. There you go. That's a nice one. And they pack up all the, the convertible top in there. Nothing was automated, it was manual. Yeah. And this is the uh, make sure you don't have mud in the car. You have those, you rub your feet on them, like a floor mat. But it is a floor mat. It's the first step. We just made an exit into the 1930s. I, I like this TV they got going over there. Go to see the producers that I picked you on visiting days. They're still alive. Yeah, the size of that. <laughs> 1932 Lincoln. So you have these little shades pulled down for privacy in the back. A DeSoto taxi? Yeah, look. Deluxe Airstream cab. Airstream? Airstream reminds me of a, uh, <laughs> of a, a trailer. Of a trailer, there you go. This car belonged to James Dean. It was customized just for him. What's he looking at? These little viewfinders. I got a kick out of this older lady that you're gonna see between the cars here. She looks like she's looking for her car in the parking lot. And drab. Yeah. <laughs> so, so they made him fancy looking and put a rumble seat in the back. Yep. That's a copper. Copper on that engine, even. That's crazy. It's a Rolls Royce. 1921 Silver Ghost Rolls Royce. Made out of copper. Okay, that one right here. Of course, it's full. And when you needed to fill it, cut away on the pistons. Wow. Crankshaft. The uh, distributor. Yeah, cutaways on the whole thing. 1927 Lincoln engine. That engine that was running, this is the 1927 Lincoln that it goes to. And, and there's a there's a megaphone for the back end to be able to talk to the front. Like that. Same. When you look at the whole overall body, it looks like one of the horse-drawn carriages from the what from the West. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, from the old West. Yeah. 
they have this bevel, and that's what I always liked about the cars, because the rain wouldn't come in the in the car. Yeah. It wouldn't get you wet because it would go around there like a rain gutter. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what it was. That's what it was made after. That's a '65 Ford Mustang. 1954 Buick in the shop. Hmm. I remember that ringing bell. And you used to have all those people fly out of the gas station. Prep check your tire, your tire pressure, your oil, wash your windshield. Yeah, wash your and windshield. And pump your gas. Change your windshield wipers if you need. The door handle, the door handle on the Phantom was you kicked underneath of it. Really? Yeah. This was the only one built. Wow. It was an experimental model. Twelve thousand five hundred. Look at how they covered all the wheels. <laughs> pretty yeah. cool. Oh, that's pretty. That's a Mercedes. A 1936 Mercedes. Popular, a popular make of famous aviators. Then you have the Bugatti here. And now we've got a 1956 Mercedes. It had doors that swing up in 1956. And then there's a 1966 Plymouth in mint condition. How do you like that? Like, like it came off the shingle. It had air conditioning. Isn't that what that is in the back? No, that's your speaker. Another Big Daddy Roth car. The Beatnik. <laughs> Look at this. Here's a Finkmobile. Finkmobile. How do you ride in that thing? Well, I guess you sit on that <laughs> middle plate and your feet go down there. And yeah, it was like riding in a wagon. Wow. <laughs> and that's what it's called, it's a model wagon. That was supposed to be a motorcycle. These are all designed and built by Ed Big Daddy Roth. Big John was there. Look Didn't at see this. that. First it was mine, I gave it to Ward on my left. John Wayne's. John Wayne signed this. Corvette. Yeah. He signed it where? Right here. Oh. John the, Wayne. The sign. The sign he signed. 1933. Al Jolson's Cadillac. That's really pretty. Yeah, it's in. It's in pretty good shape there. Even the license plate says Jolson. Yeah. Nineteen sixty one Frank Sinatra's gear. That's pretty cool. And Sammy Davis's. He's a Sammy on. Uh, His Nineteen thirty five. Duesenberg, run by Sammy Davis Jr. That's pretty cool. Thomas Edison's first car was the Baker Electric in 1912. We had electric cars in 1912. And all these people are having a heart attack about making new cars electric. <laughs> it's been it's been done since 1912. It's old, new news. Yeah, there you go. Couple. That's when Mary Pickford was married to Douglas Fairbanks. Yes. And it was Mary Pickford's Christmas present in 1928. And was personally presented by Henry Ford's son, Edsel. That's pretty cool. It's a Lana Turner's Chrysler. Look at that thing, it's in mint condition, man. 
1941. These are one of those ones where you kick it under the door. Yeah, open it, open it up, yeah. Wow, only six were built, and there's only four known in existence right now. Actually, I think this. Hey, I have folding headlights in. And look at how long that car is, man. It's re it's it's really long. We miss an Elvis car coming in. That was that link. Well, that's a Cadillac. Oh, that was that El Dorado Cadillac. Yeah. 1963 El Dorado Cadillac belonged to one of Elvis's cars. This is a 73 Cadillac. The 1908 New York to Paris automobile race. Oh, that's cool. National Historic Vehicle Registered, number 12. This is a 1907. Thomas Flyer was the winner of the 1908 New York to Paris automobile race. How did drive across the ocean? <laughs> well, look right here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it traveled 22,000 miles over land and sea and claimed its victory after 169 days of fierce competition. A, see the crank over here has got a got a uh, thing to hold the crank. Yeah, but look at this. You ready? Remember how um, your car would get dirty? So they made these material fender wells to prevent the dirt from oh, yeah. going back to the... Let's see that. He's got a drive chain. He's <laughs> got an actual chain drive. And you know it's a real car because they actually have oil pans underneath that it is leaking oil. <laughs> yeah, it's leaking oil on the carpet. <laughs> well, they, the guys that drove it autographed it. Yeah. They, they carved the. They carved the initials. They carved their the names into it and stuff. No, oh, look at look at the drum right here. This must have been like gas or something, where it said New York to Paris. Yeah, that's a that's a gas tank there. Right? Yeah. Well, I see it's got a chain drive on both sides. Right. For each each of the wheels. That's pretty cool. The entire story of the New York to Paris race is on the wall. And the route they took and the problems that they encountered along the way. It's a remarkable story of man and machine against an unimaginable odds, almost like the pioneers that came across in covered wagons. Here's something special for electric cars. Here's a 1914 electric car. Just look at all those batteries. Completely battery powered. What's really cool about this is it's sitting right next to a 2008 Tesla. This was the 10th production car ever made by Tesla. A Tesla like this is an extremely fast car. It'll do 0 to 60 miles an hour in 1.9 seconds. Surprisingly enough, a Lamborghini can still beat it. 1972 McLaren Racer. That's pretty cool. That's very cool. Look at how, look at where, where that engine is and the exhaust. Where the. I know, it's like. See, he's sitting inside of there and that engine and the exhaust are, are right But his, his head is right here. Right it's at like his head. right there. Yeah. You definitely lose your hearing. Oh, yeah, no kidding. We'll be able to hear for a week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we were talking before about Big Daddy Roth. Well, this is Big Daddy Don Garlitz, top fuel dragster. Another Big Daddy Roth car. 
1969. The Roth High Flyer. The National Automotive Museum, where the cars are the stars. Thank you for visiting with us on this National Automotive Museum in Reno, Nevada. If you enjoyed our vlog, please subscribe. And ring that notification bell. And give us a like. It lets us know you care. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.